Leukemia is the most common type of cancer in children and adolescents. High susceptibility to the common cold, persistent fever, shortness of breath and pale skin when climbing stairs. Difficulty in stopping nosebleeds and frequent bruising are signs of a hematologic disorder. Childhood cancers and leukemia can be cured with proper treatment. Human blood is composed of a liquid component called plasma and cellular components, i.e. blood cells. Blood cells are divided into red blood cells, RBCs, white blood cells, WBCs, and platelets. These blood cells are formed in the bone marrow. The bone marrow is the spongy tissue inside the bones, where stem cells differentiate and give rise to blood cells, such as RBCs, WBCs, and platelets. When there are abnormal WBCs, that proliferate excessively. They will inhibit the functions of normal WBCs, RBCs, and platelets. And this is a key characteristic of leukemia. When abnormal WBCs are detected or suspected based on a blood test, bone marrow is canceled from the hip bone for a test. Then bone marrow aspiration and biopsy is performed for diagnosis. When it is determined to be leukemia, chromosome analysis, cancer gene testing, etc. are carried out to determine prognosis. When it comes to AML, accurate diagnosis is most important. After a diagnosis of AML, chromosomal aberration tests and other tests to identify genetic aberrations are carried out. Based on the results, we classify the patient into a risk group. High-risk patients undergo two chemotherapy sessions, followed by a hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. Low or standard risk patients, on the other hand, undergo five to six chemotherapy sessions, and that's it. These days, chemotherapy alone can lead to a survival rate of more than 70% for low and standard risk patients. In the case of all, it is important to analyze the risk of recurrence and design the treatment based on the result. In the case of low-risk groups, HSCT may cure the disease, but it may be too excessive, thus creating a significant risk for complication later on. That is, in the long run, the patient may suffer from various complications aside from leukemia for a lifetime. For high-risk patients, lowering the treatment intensity can substantially increase the chance of recurrence. So, they require either high-strength chemotherapy or an HSCT during first remission. That is, when it comes to all, the risk must be taken into consideration to determine the best possible treatment to increase the chance of curing the patient. When it comes to standard risk patients, for example, we can guarantee a survival rate of at least 90% based on our prior history and data. One of the treatment methods for leukemia is HSCT. HSCT is divided into a match-related donor transplant where the donor is a family member and an unrelated donor transplant where the donor is a non-family member. As for allogenetic HSCT, depending on the extent to which the human lycocyte antigens match, it is called a full match or a half match, which means four out of eight HLAs match. Treatment such as chemotherapy or radiation therapy is necessary prior to HSCT. This is to get rid of the remaining cancer cells and to suppress the immune system as much as possible to prevent transplant rejection. 
HSCT gives the patient a second chance at life. So basically, the day on which the HSCT is performed becomes the patient's second birth date. Before the HSCT, the patient's second birth is celebrated with love and support. After the conditioning treatment is complete, the normal hematopoietic stem cells collected from the donor are injected into the patient via a central venous catheter. The normal hematopoietic stem cells adapt to the patient's body and begin producing normal blood cells. Childhood leukemia and adult leukemia are actually completely different. Among adults, the prevalence of AML is much higher than that of ALL. In contrast, among children and adolescents, the prevalence of ALL is higher than that of AML. In children, high-intensity chemotherapy for both ALL and AML is associated with a high survival rate, whereas most adults with leukemia require an HSCT. There is also a huge difference in terms of treatment response. Pediatric patients with leukemia get hospitalized for chemotherapy or undergo intensive care to manage complications after HSCT. Their immune system is not yet strong enough to fight viruses and bacteria, so they receive treatment in a sterile ward. Infection prevention and treatment is essential until their immune system recovers to normal. Although it is true that various medications and treatment methods are being developed today, what is even more important than that is to analyze the risk of recurrence and decide on a treatment guideline based on the result. Proper treatment based on accurate diagnosis and risk analysis is far more important than using the latest drug or therapy. Dr. Cho, a leading authority on childhood leukemia and HSCT, is instilling hopes and dreams in young patients. He is a trailblazer in his field, conducting research on personalized treatment and HSCT for pediatric cancer patients, as well as reducing the chance of recurrence for leukemia patients. I want to be a doctor who listens and cures patients. Professor Cho is using his remarkable expertise and skills to help patients gain a second chance at life. He is accompanying countless young patients in their journeys to recovery so that they can experience the joy of life and realize all their dreams in adulthood.